Oh wow, that's actually a really nice shot. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're having a shit one. Before I get into today's video, what the fuck is on my face? Okay, I have a mustache at the moment and I was gonna shave it because I went clean shave. I haven't gone clean shave in a while. And while I was doing it, while I was in the shower, I was like, you know what, I'll just leave the mustache and I'll see how many people bully me on my Instagram. And then I put on my story, I was like, should I leave it for one video or should I shave it right now? And you said, leave it for a video. So anyway, today we have this V8 5 liter Mustang from Berwick Ford. A special thank you to Paul Webb from Berwick Ford for lending me this car for today's video. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel on cars, so you can go check him out at Webby on Cars on YouTube. And I'll leave his YouTube and his Instagram in the description of this video, so you can go check him out if you want. Enough talking, we'll talk about it a bit later. Let's go for a drive first. button here exhaust modes sport I'm not going to put it into race mode because it turns the traction control off and I haven't driven a rear wheel drive car for a little while Listen very closely, the indicator noise is a horse galloping. You hear that? <laughs> Symbolise the pony, the horse, get it? It's very smart. <laughs> Nothing beats the sound of a V8. <laughs> that is six gear, about two and a half thousand RPM. It's about what my Subaru does. Gear seven, gear eight, nine gears, ten gears. <laughs> no, I, I thought it was gonna go for eleven. 10 gears, that's that's really interesting. I've never driven a car with a 10 speed gearbox. Wow, all right, I guess there's a first time for everything.
spot here. So you've got the whole city right there. I'm gonna park the car just there. And I've got the 85 mil at the moment, which is usually pretty good lens to use at this spot. So let's try and move it into position. But because of COVID, a lot of people are out exercising. <laughs> a lot of people. God damn. <laughs> literally, I see where they're saying every man and his dog is out because literally every man and his dog is out right now. It's crazy. Uh, I wasn't even shooting with the polarizer on. Wow, I actually got no one in that shot. I'm very surprised. <laughs> Try and get a landscape shot. Might have to go a bit further back to get the city in. Please move out of my shot. Thank you. You gotta be careful they're not in the reflection of the car as well. And there's a sign there that says boat ramp closed. And the sign above the car there, I'm gonna have to Photoshop that out. And I'm also gonna have to bring up the brightness it's a really good focus in the wheel here. Well, if there's too many people in the shot, it might be a good chance to put the 35 mil on and get some photos a bit closer up. I'll take it this way with the sun. I don't mind it, but then I think the sun should be on the other way. We we'll use the window here as a glass reflection. It's not too bad, but the, whatever the, you're looking out through the windscreen is just so blown out. God damn, that's really hard to expose right now because the sun's still really high we might have to wait for the sun to go down a bit before i take this photo because i like the angle but i'll show you because i want to shoot this on like f2 but i think the sky is just going to be way too overexposed yeah i'm going to turn the car around the other way and i think i might just get like a direct front on shot with the 85 mil why are so many people out it's actually fucking ridiculous I think I'm just going to accept that there's going to be a lot of people in my shot. <sighs> All right. Like, this is going to be a great shot. I just need no one to be in it. <laughs> the joys of being a photographer, hey? Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't want to Photoshop. Get the fuck out of my shot. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Photoshop it is. Alright, I think I'll just go into the city. It's much easier that way. I think I found a pretty cool spot here. I was planning to go down to the end of the street here, but I just pulled over because it's dusk right now. So you got this nice gradient, but because the car's black, I'm scared that it's gonna blend into the shot too much. But I'm just gonna do my little brake light trick here. Wow, there's some bright brake lights. Looks kind of cool though. I think like a gutter shot. I need to go back a bit further. Oh wow, that's actually a really nice shot, but we're still not getting the whole building in the frame. <laughs> I feel like I could park the car in the middle of the road though. I don't see anyone here. Barely anyone drives here. It's like a dead end street anyway. I hope a cop doesn't come, because sometimes cops come through this street and they are not going to be happy with what they see. <laughs> oh, that's a cool shot. I don't care if it's perfectly aligned. I'm just going to take this and then move on. Man, I fucking love night photography.
Get on the ground. <laughs> I hope this is my mate. <laughs> How's it going? Good, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I was hoping you weren't a cop. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna take this one shot, then I was gonna move it to the side. That's Paul. <laughs> He's the one that works at Ford that gave me the car in the first place, so he was just gonna tag along for tonight. Obviously, tag along at a distance. It's hashtag social distancing. Let's take a landscape shot here as well. This is where you see that I'm not quite a fan of black wheels, <laughs> is at night time. This is like the biggest, yeah, especially like a black on black. This is like the biggest difference between silver wheels like your car compared to black wheels, which are really hard to see. If we chuck the camera on a tripod and expose it all properly, we could probably make it all sweet. Right, uh, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drop my ISO to 100. We're gonna open the shutter speed up. We'll see, always looking at the light meter here. My light meter is telling me negative two at the moment. F8, so we get everything in focus. And I don't want to have a, sh a exposure for too long. It's saying 10 seconds right now, so I'm just going to bump the ISO up to 200 and put the camera on a timer, two second timer. All right, let's have a look at this shot. Yeah, that's a bit better exposure just on the car. I can just sort of see a bit more of the car there. I can sort of brighten it up in editing. I know this camera is pretty forgiving with its dynamic range. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a second exposure with the lights on. Flick them on here. There we go. I'll actually get the brake lights up as well. Actually, I can't do that. Do you mind sitting in the car for this shot and just putting your foot on the brake? That's why it's good to have Paul here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I realized, I was like, oh, where's my tripod? Oh, it's right here. All right, so now he's got his foot on the brake. We're gonna take a fairly underexposed shot just of the brake lights. And one more, I feel like we can go a bit darker just so there's no highlights in the image, I'm not ex overexposing anything. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a longer exposure because I want to get the red light on the ground here. Two and a half seconds will do it. All right, there's one photo, two photo, three photo. So you merge them all together and then you get something like this and then you give it an edit <laughs> using my presets. Download my presets, they're in, uh, linked in my description there, or you can head over to streamline.store to go and grab yourself a set. Hey, so I get a phone call while I'm driving to this next spot because there's this like reflective glass right here that we're gonna shoot on to like get like a mirrored shot. And then I get a call from Liam and he's like, hey bro, are you driving a black Mustang? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, I just drove past you because he was up at his farm and he was driving back through the city to go home. And I was like, well, do you want to come on the photo shoot? Because his car is at my house, so I've got to drop him off home anyway. And look, he's right here, right now. Boy, Hello, lovely. Happen? There's a huntsman spider somewhere on this car. What? <laughs> I don't know where. You tell me that as I touch the door? See you, Ethan. See you, Nick. Drive safe. <laughs> oh my God. How are you, bro? Yeah, good. You doing good? Yeah. That's Paul from Ford. Hey, Paul, how are you? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm just checking out this spot first. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about this spot. We might have to go around the corner. Man, this is a cool shot, but gotta try and not get the other cars in the frame, as well as not getting too low. So the light beams don't come in the frame. Ah, fuck. Surprisingly a busy street, sorry. Let's try F 2.5. I'm gonna take this polarizer off, it's making the image too dark. Oh, that's better. I can shoot lower ISO now. 140th of a second. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, that's good. That'd be nice. Let's 
bring out those shadows of the building. Yeah, for Start sure. From these sides. And the shadow of the car. You know what, for black wheels, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Yeah. You know, like harder to shoot, but they're so glossy that they're reflecting the light to make it look like they've got silver bits on them. <laughs> oh, fuck. I should have taken this P plate down. Oh, well. I'll Photoshop it out of the hero image. The image that I'll use to post to Instagram is generally what I call a hero image. And I love these seats as well. F1.2. All that bokeh. Ben and I, Salai. Oh, that's a cool shot of the seats with the highlights. I love that Mustang, how it lights up. On the door there. And it should even have, yeah, it's got a little pony here. <laughs> that's actually a pretty cool shot. Try and shoot it. I don't think I'll ever use that shot for anything, but it's cool how we've got the pony on the ground there. That's it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, Liam, have you seen this? Dude, check out this spot I just found. What the fuck? Dude, you have to see this. <laughs> How cool oh, is that? Shit. Dude. What a random find. Can you quickly take a portrait of me there? Yeah, I've got to turn the car off. Hang on. Oh, so i got the 35 mil on already. Hood on. Stand a bit this way. Yeah. Can you rotate your body more towards me? Yeah, look at your camera, put your camera screen on, something white. Right here. What do you think of those? Oh, that's cool. I really like that. That one's cool. Can I, did you have a flat one? Oh, do you reckon you can get a full body shot with like all of them? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so sick. Thanks bro. Alright, sweet. Let's have a head. Sick. Oh sweet, there's a tram coming. Just wait there, Liam. Kinda wanna get this tram shot, see if it'll work. All right, here it comes. Manual focus. I hope I got one. Uh, kind of. Might try a landscape this time. Damn it. <laughs> I think that little duster thing got in the way. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right, I'll take a gutter shot here. I reckon this is going to be my last shot. Yeah, it's fucking great. So many fucking junkies out tonight. Nice. Right, I'm happy with that. All right, yeah, let's head off home. See you bro, yeah. <laughs> take it easy, drive safe. See you later. <laughs> See ya. That's the end of the video, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go shave this off because I keep getting bullied <laughs> by everyone in my family and all my mates. Before I end the video as well, I just wanna say a quick thank you to Paul for giving me the Mustang in the first place. I'm gonna link his channel in the description and you can go check him out if you want to. I really enjoyed driving the Mustang, I think it's a really great car. I hope you enjoyed watching today. I hope I taught you something new today, but with that all said and done, have a shoot one.